Hey everybody, today I'm going to take a look at the Pac-Man Retro Arcade Plug and Play. It runs on four AA batteries. You have your standard RCA cables with the mono audio out. And I like this fact, when you turn on the switch, you got a nice menu button that lights up, looks like a coin slot. The, the buttons are nice and solid here, those clicks. Same with the joystick. I believe they use micro switches. I can hear some clicking this. And a really cool feature is this knob twist really well and it's going to be used in one of the games so let's go ahead and take the pac-man retro arcade plug and play let's hook it up to my tv and see how it holds up today let's go to the games the pac-man retro arcade tv games plug and play was made by jack specific and carries a carpet year of 2008 this plug and play basically combines the games from the pac-man arcade gold plug and play which basically was the same as the original pac-man tv games plug and play which i reviewed in episode 257 except the arcade gold version added three more games and the ms pac-man tv games plug and play i reviewed in episode 14 except this version does not have ms pac-man itself on it all in all there are 12 games to choose from using a simple selection screen. The first game is the classic Pac-Man, and on this plug and play, it controls great and is still fun to play. The second game is Pac-Man Plus, a follow-up to the original Pac-Man that added some twists, including power pellets that don't always work as they should, and the fact that eating bonus items like cans of cola also makes the ghosts blue, but turns them invisible first. And like Pac-Man, it is fun. The third game is Super Pac-Man. In this Pac-Man game, you eat keys to open doors, while super pellets let you pass through doors without keys and speed up with a press of a button. It's okay, but not as fun as the original. The fourth game is Pack and Pal. In Pack and Pal, you need to flip over cards to open doors, and eating unique power-up items like the Galaxian ships allow you to temporarily fire at the ghosts, stunning them. And you also have a buddy ghost who will help you clear stages of items. It's okay, but again, it's not as fun as the original. The fifth game is Mappy. I know there are a lot of fans of this game out there, and it controls well here, but personally it's not my cup of tea. The sixth game is Dig Dug. Now this game is definitely my cup of tea. You dig through the ground, blow up enemies, and have a lot of fun. The seventh game is Pole Position. Just like in the Ms. Pac-Man plug and play, you steer the car by twisting the knob of the joystick, and it's amazing how well it controls. This simply is my favorite way to play Pole Position at home. The eighth game is Bosconian. In this game, you try to take out enemy bases by either taking out several sections or with a well-placed shot to the center. And for some reason, I seem to enjoy this more than when I played it on the original Pac-Man plug and play. The ninth game is Xevious. This is one of my favorite classic shooters and it plays well here. The tenth game is Galaxian. It's okay, but it's not near as fun as its sequel, the eleventh game on the system, Galaga, which is a real plus on this plug and play. And the final game is New Rally X, where you collect flags while using smoke screens to block enemy cars. And this is one of those games that doesn't do much for me even though it does control well. Overall, while the graphics and sound of the games might not be 100% arcade perfect on this plug and play, they were good enough for me and it did feel like I was playing arcade games on my television. Family friendly wise, this unit received an E for everyone rating when it was released. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, used versions were selling for $15 to $40. So what did I think of the Pac-Man Retro Arcade Plug and Play? This is a great plug and play. The joystick works really well and controls even better than the previous plug and plays this one is based on. And even though not every game on this system is a winner in my eyes, and while I do wish they included Ms. Pac-Man, it does have some all-time greats on it, including Pac-Man, Xevious, Galaga, and Dig Dug. But the real star of the system, surprisingly, is Pole Position. I just can't say enough how much fun it is to play Pole Position using the twist knob to steer. So where am I going to rank the Pac-Man Retro Arcade Plug and Play? I had so much fun and it's so well made, it's going all the way to the top. So out of the 28 plug and plays I've now ranked, the Pac-Man Retro Arcade Plug and Play is taking over the number one position. The Pac-Man Retro Arcade Plug and Play is highly, highly recommended for retro plug and play fans. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank all of my extraordinary Patreon supporters who voted for me to review this plug and play. Thank you all. If you'd like to support the show and gain access to exclusive content, you could do so by signing up at patreon.com slash noswearegamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Noswear Gamer. Take care, and if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go play some more pole position.